Or their baby family. Or their auntie or daughter or great dear. Having them around. Who is better known as Auntie Bitya. On behalf of the family, they would like to welcome each and every one who have gathered here for the final rites of all the auntie who have gone to the great beyond. Call we na lillahi wa inna ilayhi wa jiyo. May Allah bless us soul. We will have a program, but firstly, before we start, you know, as we will like, you know, in a format, you know, and the beauty body, you know, we can come so and so, you know, in a format. Uh, beauty body first, and then we will start the program. So, at this moment, you know, I ask you all who would like the beauty body at a close range, you can do so.
So my dear brothers and sisters, in our Islam, my dear brothers and sisters and humanity, friends and wishes, well wishes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of Almighty Allah be upon us here this afternoon. As we know that the funeral arrangement after in the process I'm going to say how we'll do the program. Firstly, I'll do the opening dua. Then I'll recite the Quran, which is Surah Yasi in the middle of the Quran, chapter 36, which is recommended when someone in it passed away and to recite before leaving the wounds to go to burial. And then after I do that, we will have two close relatives, two close, close, very close to say something on honor of their, of their auntie. And then I will do a little discourse and then we do the janaza. After the janaza, we go straight to the cemetery. There is a change that the, the burying right in this um, cemetery across the road. And uh, inshallah, we proceed to the cemetery right across the road. So with no further ado, I give the opening dua and then I should read the Quran inshallah. So I know we are, some of us are Muslim, some of us are you know, different religion, but we can bend our heads. And those who are Muslim, they put their hands in dua. And we can contemplate and we make dua. So let us all join. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa nabiyyina wa habibina wa shafiina wa rasulina wa mawlana Muhammadin wa barik wa sallam Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin siraja wa munira wa ali wa sallam Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin sultana al-nathira wa ali wa sallam بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا السرط المستقيم سرط الذين عنمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الدون ربنا فاغفر لنا زنوبنا ربنا زلم أنفسنا وإلا ما تغفر لنا وضعنا كننا من القاسرين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا دبنا رب جل مكيم الصلاة ومن زريات ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب فصلى الله على سيدنا محمد خير قلبه وعلى اله وصحابه اسواج وحلقات وزريات اجمعين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين امين الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر حق لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم so at this moment that we're really going to read the Quran. It is chapter 26, Surah Yasi. 
as Muslims. It is the middle of the Quran. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the, the last and final messenger of Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, when anyone of our deceased family shall leave this world, read Surah Yasin, and keep on reading Surah Yasin, because the benefit of Surah Yasin, it is equivalent of reading of 10 al -Khur.
samawati walad bi qadirin ala yakhruba mithla wala wala qalini inna ma marru iza rada shayna kulli kun fayqul wa subhanallah bi yadihi malakut kulli shay wa lahi turjaun sadaqaladin sadaqallahu wa sallam Alhamdulillah. So we continue as I call one of the very close relatives, Mr. Shar, or Stefan, grandson, or the auntie, to give us his words so that. You know, may Allah really help him and bless him in this aspect of the Abhavad in doing this soon. Assalamu alaikum. Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Many of you may know who I am, but for those of you who don't, my name is Stefan Rajkumar Singh and I am Hamidan's last born grandson. Firstly, I would like to say thank you to everyone here and everyone online who took the time to commemorate and honor the life of this special and unique individual. For many of us here who had the pleasure of interacting and communicating with my grandmother, you will know that she was an ambitious, hardworking, loving individual. To me, she was a light that never seemed to dim. She was a rock of stability and a source of strength for the entire family. My grandmother was a figure that we could have turned to for advice in times of crisis, adversity, and she always had the answers to a complicated situation. Something most memorable about my grandmother was the manner in which she approached any and every task or undertaking. She always gave everything her absolute best and persevered no matter what the circumstances were for she was one of the most determined and persistent individuals that I knew. Her unique traditions, attitudes and beliefs of how she carried about her everyday life captured the attention and amusement of all her children, grandchildren and those who were blessed to interact with her. More so, these said traditions, attitudes and beliefs have interwoven itself into our lives and has led to countless instances of success. Oftentimes, my mom and I would find ourselves drowning in laughter from the times when my grandmother would have educated us on her beliefs and methods of doing things. Although there were many correct ways to do something, for my grandmother, there was only one correct way to do something, and that was using her method. Perhaps something most iconic about my grandmother were the remarks that her and my grandfather would exchange, as they had a bond that was greater than any force. And quite interestingly, it is a bond that only they could understand. Oftentimes, I would find myself repeating my grandmother's trademark lines to my mom and other family members, as it was almost guaranteed to bring about a smile, laugh, or even relief from a stressful situation. With my grandmother around, alongside my grandfather, life almost felt less tense and easy going as there was always a sense that there was someone of wisdom and authority to turn to in times of stress, fear, anxiety, and distress. My grandmother played a pivotal role in my success thus far in life, and I can say with certainty that I wouldn't have accomplished any of that without her guidance and support. I stand proud today to say that I am my grandmother's grandson, and I aspire to make her proud with each passing day. It is often said that you are only once a man or woman and twice a child in your life. In acknowledging all that my grandmother has done for me, it has been an honor and a pleasure to be there for her in her times of need and give her the comfort she deserved in her elder years. In closing, one of my grandmother's final wish was to see me graduate. However, God said to her that the view from above will be greater than the view from below. And I know now that she will receive the eternal peace that she long desired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
you very much, Stefan. I would. I know who I call my sister. Good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste, everyone. It's just under this short speech from my mother today. As we, as we say goodbye, Mama, it is with such heavy heart and such a sad but yet bittersweet time for us as we are grieving to see you go, but all relieved that we no longer have to see you in pain or suffering or losing your dignity. Mama, you have been such a strong and very ambitious woman and such a great cook. So as you make your transition to heaven, we wish you much deserved eternal peace. So fight high with the angels, Mama. I will say goodbye. Instead, I will say, till we meet again, love you very much. Thanks, everyone for coming. that my mother-in-law, Hamida Ranu, also known as Mama. I, Sharon Ranu, have been given the honor of delivering this tribute on behalf of her five children, her grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. There are moments when what's happening in our life requires us to seek strength or solace from those who have overcome immense difficulties. People who have withstood incredible challenges and have gone on to lead full lives. Today, we are celebrating the life of one such individual, someone whose story we can all rely on again and again to find strength within us. Mama's story of survival is extraordinary. Her drive to heal herself fighting severe arthritis and cancer. Astounding. Her determination to navigate the challenges of life with sheer common sense, relentless. Her meticulous nature was evident in her passion for sewing, cooking, cleaning, and by large, life. My father-in-law would say, that woman could go through. And I would often wonder how Papa, the evidently referred to as the strongest man who ever lived in Monty Trace, could allow this woman to dominate. But my analysis of their relationship allowed me to recognize that she had values and standards. And she upheld those standards with grace, pride, strength, fearlessness, humility, and resilience. 
Resilience defined as a toughness to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties was Mama's overarching trait. She did not merely survive 94 years. She thrived. Hamidan Doris Ramu was the definition of a resilient, strong woman. So Winston, my dearest husband, when I lay down the law with my iron fist, just remember, I learned from the dreadest. I learned from the best. Nothing can ever prepare a family for what it feels like to turn and walk away from a loved one as they lay in a hospital bed, or let alone a box. It's difficult not to search for meaning during this time, but I do want to stress something that can be taken away from Mama's time here. When we are faced with a challenge, we can reflect on her life for strength, courage, and motivation. She's a human being like you and me, and the story teaches us that we all have more resilience than we realize. Most human hands are five fingers. Functionally, they are able to hold, grasp, carry, touch, and even release. As we celebrate the life of Mama, let us hold on to the loving memories she shared with us, carry the lessons she bestowed on us, touch the lives of others with the wisdom she imparted on us, and release our heartfelt sentiments so that the soul may sleep peacefully. On behalf of your husband, mother, or reds, as you call him, Papa could not be with us today because of his ailing health. But when we broke the news to him of your passing, he asked us to share this prayer with you, a prayer that over the years he would always hold your hands in his, never not to stand in his blindness, and recite, here is your message, Mama, from Red.
as I read the Quran and I read the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the messenger, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and says, in the process of doing this final rites, I commend each and every one who come to support this family, who have come to support this family, the condolence and sympathy, as we know, may Allah bless her when she entered the Khabar. The Prophet sallallahu says, read the final rites, which is the janaza. Do not delay, do not delay the body. Why we see the body, something is missing. And if what is missing is the soul. The soul is missing. So every human being who comes in this world has a soul. And the soul is you yourself. As you grow, the soul grows. You come with the soul from Allah as bright as possible. And you have to leave it and leave this world with the soul of, of us or individual as bright as possible. So when I do the janaza, the janaza is not no prostration as we do in Islam. It is the it is a dua. It is a dua to go to the cemetery after the janaza, immediately. So when we go to the cemetery, as the digging of the grave, there's two shelves, and the, either you put the body in the ground, or you put it in the box. Whatever the, the family desires, but it is recommended most highly also to put the body in the ground. So Allah says in the Quran, Wa minha khalaqnakum wa fiha naidhukum wa minha nukrijukum taratan ukhra From the mud we were created and the mud we will enter and from the mud we shall rise again. So Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Hajj, as we come from a womb of thy mothers, through two drops of fluid, a clot of blood, a lump of flesh, and form into baby form within 340 days. Then we come out from the womb of thy mothers nine months. We reach to the stage of puberty, and after the stage of puberty to maturity and old age. The Quran says some live at young age and die, some live at middle age, some live at old age. But it is a decree of Allah, alhamdulillah, that our aunt and he has lived for 94, 94 years, Alhamdulillah. The prediction of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it is said, a time will reach, we will live for three scores and ten days. Three scores and ten is seventy. So it is a mercy she got the well blessings and the extension of living this life at this age. But this was decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the womb of their mothers. So when we carry her to the grave and we lower our body, her foot will touch the earth first and then we put her down in the grave. Put the shell in and cover it dirt and covering the dirt and covering the dirt we the Prophet said build a grave like a camel 
back home, build a grave like that. And after that, as the Imam, I will say the two ayah of the Quran, Alif Lami, and the last ayah of Alif Lami, Lillahi Ma Fis Samawati. And then we make the dua, and we are told to leave the grave. At that moment, at, after 40 feet, two angels will come to question her. That's why I'm saying it. So to remind her, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his infinite mercy, Allah for Rasulullah, to help her with that question in the grave, to help her to answer that question. And that question is, when we leave the grave 40 footsteps, Marrabuqa, who is your Lord? And she will answer, My Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is your God? Marabuka. Who is your God? My God is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second question. Manabiyuka. Who is your prophet? My prophet is Muhammad. Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the third question, Mandinuka, what is your religion? And she, she will answer, my religion is Islam. I ask Allah, it is infinite, if she is having any problem at that moment, I will ask on my behalf and love for Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to help her to answer these questions. By answering these questions, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to with her deeds, uh, that accept her deeds, and give her, at that moment, light in a cover and make a cover wide and spacious and comfortable for her. And cause the fragrant breeze of Jannah to blow into a cover. And give her cover that light, so it will be in that state like paradise for her. One of the reasons I'm saying it, because of her love and affection, she always show for everyone, for her family, for us, myself, we visit her time to time in her, in her lifetime, and we got very close. And she wanted me to do everything for her. And she got her wish, alhamdulillah. And she got everything which, which she wishes. May Allah, in this aspect, bless her. And in that state of barzakh, that hereafter, keep her safe with peace and tranquility and comfort until the Day of Judgment. We pray that on the Day of Judgment, let our resources and intercede for her. Give her a book of deeds and a right hand. Give her to drink in the fountain of alcohol. Help her to cross the bridge of pulsar out as fast as lightning. And give her a high, high place in paradise. Jannatul from those. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I ask Allah, deep down from my heart, if by living her life, if she may have committed any fault in this world, or any sins in this world, I ask of you, Allah, to forgive her on the account of Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and bring light into her body and bring light into her nur and her soul so that, Ya Allah, she will be in a good status, a good rank in the state of Barza until the of judgment. So as I conclude, as the Prophet says, the stages of life from soul, which is who, and the stage, next stage, womb of thy mothers, and the stages I mentioned in this world, you live in this world until death. And from death, you go with the soul in the hereafter until the day of judgment. And from the day of judgment, he does not know when is judgment, 
because Adam was the first, Adam was the first prophet until the messenger Rasulullah and to our time we just don't know when Allah will bring Qiyamah but that state of Balsa, that state of hereafter, it is a state in the grave and it can be like paradise or you can sleep in the grave or if we did not live a righteous life, you can be punished in the grave even self, whatever religion you are, you still have to go back to the earth you burn and you throw the ashes in the sea and the sea pushes in the, in, in, under the earth it goes back to the earth it goes back to the earth for fiha na'idhu minha nukhriju tarata bukra and we will rise from the earth so I pray that Allah accept everything that we have done and we are about to do the chanaza I thank everyone again for coming, supporting this family you know, in this time of grief and pain. And may Allah really subhanahu wa ta'ala really bless us and reward us for the time we have taken to be in this gathering. And the Prophet says, in gathering where Allah's name is mentioned, we will be blessed because the angels are here. And in this kind of gathering, he sent blessings also in this gathering. So I wish to thank each and every one. I pray that Allah accept everything we have done here for their auntie. I say thank you very much. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, if anyone comes in a little late and would like to view the body tools, the busu, for a little two minutes. Otherwise, we will be Janaza and proceed to the Pachia Pachia Cemetery for very well. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And we did Janaza is only for a meal and we will four lines.
right? And fella say back, who dig this? Huh? And fella say back, who dig this? <laughs> Thank you. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبل وبالآخرة هم يكيمون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المسلمون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربهم والمؤمنون قلنا من أب الله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله لا نفرق من بين أيديهم ورسول قول سمينا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المسير لا يكلف لنفسا إلا وسها لها ما كسبت وإليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤكزنا إن نسينا أطعنا ربنا ولا تحمل لنا إسرا كما حملته للذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تهملنا ما لا تخط لنا به وفوانا وغرفر لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانسونا على القوم الكافرين سورة الزغل جوان الدواء اللهم من اللهم صلي على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وشفينا ورسولنا مولانا محمد نبارك السلام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل يعيو الكافرون لا عبدوا ما تعبدون ولا أنتم ما بدون ما عبد ولا عنارد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم ما بدون ما عبد لكم دينكم واليدين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وخر الله السماء لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا نهد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وخر الله السماء لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا نهد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله وخر الله السماء لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا نهد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما قلق من شر قاتك الزوق ومن شر النفثات في لكر ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس مالك الناس إله الناس من شر الوساس الخناس الذي يسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا كن أبدو يا كن أستعين خدنا السرات المستقيم سرات الذين أنعمت عليهم غير مكتوب عليهم ولا تعلن من بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله ما صابر ولا تقولوا لما يقتل في سبيل الله بيمات بلحق ولا خلا تشكرون 
ولا نبل أنكم بشيء من القوف والجوع والنقص من الغالي والفس والتمرق وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله وإن إليه الرجيم أولئك لهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة أولئك هم المختدون وإلهكم إله واحد لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم ما كان محمد نبا أحد من رجالكم الأخر رسول الله وقاتم النبيين وقام الله بكل شيء أليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي أي الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد سراج منير وآل وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد سلطان النثير وآل وسلم اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم تب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإلهم تغفر لنا وتحمنا كوننا من القاسم يا عزيز الغفار يا كريم الستار يا رحيم الجبار يا خالق يا باري يا ولي آخر ظاهر بات نزل جلال والإكرام يا جيس المستقسم يا لل المشكلات يا رب يا درجات الشكر يا هنان يا منان يا دار وبرهان السلطان يا الله يا اللهم رب لزك يا الله We glorify the Empress Ya Allah, the Prophet of Allah, in this, in this final rites of all the Antibes. And Ya Allah, we have put her in the cover, Ya Allah. I recite it, and Ya Allah, we recite it for Imam Sahib Allah. We have recited it. The Quran and the Dua, Ya Allah. Accept this Dua, Ya Allah. Look upon us, Ya Allah, from your Arish, Ya Allah. Because of our love for you and love for Rasulullah in the deen of Islam, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah to bless the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's family by his children, the Amir Khan, his grandchildren, his grandchildren, his grandchildren, people who are among sin, the great with sin, the Mashaikhs, and all of them, full mu'minin are Muslim, out of the Rahman of Allah. Accept this dua, Ya Allah. Accept everything you have done for the Amir. We accept the Allah as we are about to leave the grave, Ya Allah, for the footstep. At Munkaran, the few will come to question her, Ya Aksaf, Ya Allah, to help her to answer the question, Ya Allah, that you are the Lord, Ya Allah. My Rabbuka, you are the Lord, help her to answer the question. My Nabiuka is the Prophet, Rasulullah. Help her to answer this question again, as I recite it. من دينك من ها يا الله من دينك أنسي كرك what is our religion the religion is Islam أن يا الله فان ها يا الله أن يفان نور فان نور light فان light in a cover make a cover white and spacious and comfortable for her make a grave like Jannah with like you have decorated Jannah for her يا الله in the state of barzak until the day of judgment يا الله Give her good status, Ya Allah. Let us see the beauty and the grandeur of the Akhra next week, Ya Allah, mentioned by Rasulullah. And keep her safe until the day of judgment, Ya Allah. And give her genital for those in the company of the Shuhada, the Soli, and the Taba, Tabin, and with the intercession of Rasulullah, the high high Allah. And to drink in the fountain of the And a book of deeds in the right hand. And Ya Allah, cross in a bridge of full shirat to be wide as possible for Ya Allah. Ya Allah, bless us all here with the blessing and guidance of God. Accept this dua, Ya Allah. Accept this dua, Ya Allah. Accept this dua. We thank thee and glorify thee for the many tables. For the baraka of the rain, the baraka of the blessing of life. We thank thee, Ya Allah. We thank thee. I thank you and I accept you to bless the family with comfort and peace and tranquility. Bless the family with the greatest loss, Ya Allah. The sorrow, Ya Allah. Bless the family for doing this for their mother, and their mother will be well pleased with them. Rabbi Hamuma Kama Rabbi Yami. So, accept this for you. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin kaira kalkihi wa ala alihi wa sahabi wa sahaja wa khlebatu zuriyati ajma'in bi rahmatika arhamur rahimin. Amin Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. حق لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم
if we are putting roses like this, you put fresh roses. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. it's recommended in Islam. Uh, so, even so, you? if you're from here, put that tree over here. Yeah. A nice tree, and if you see the tree, that's glorified yeah. God. So, when it glorifies God, you get blessings. Is this mama hair here? Yes. Okay, give it. That's a feet here. Feet and tongue. This is her hair? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 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 Put the bunch. Put it right here. Yeah, I can put it right here. Put it right here. Put it right here. Very good. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.